Handshake's mission is to help everyone find a great job and build a meaningful career, whether you're starting, restarting, or jumpstarting your career. No experience, connections, or luck required. This video will give a demo of some of the major first steps you will have engaging with Handshake, including logging in for the first time, completing your profile, starting your job search, and more. Let's jump into how you can get started connecting with your career center and employers today. First, let's explore what it looks like when a student logs into their Handshake account for the first time. Once you log into Handshake, you will see this screen where you're asked to agree to Handshake's Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Please note both of these policies can be found on Handshake's website if you would like to review this more closely. Additionally, you are prompted to add your graduation date. This is highly encouraged because employers will be interested in this information. Once you have completed these two steps, you can click the green Get Started button to continue the onboarding process. Next, you are able to set your profile visibility. Afterwards, you will now be brought to a set of onboarding questions related to demographic information and your career interests. Please note the information that you put on the career interest questions here drive the job recommendations that you see. So the more information you include on this page, the more relevant your recommendations are to be and the better your experience is going to be on Handshake. Here's a quick overview of what these questions look like. As you complete the onboarding questions, this will begin to help you build your Handshake profile by asking you a series of questions about your skills, relevant courses, GPA, clubs, organizations, as well as work and volunteer experience. If you ever want to change or update your career interests or profile settings, you can go up to the right hand corner and select My Career Interests, and that will take you to the Career Interests page where you'll see very similar questions, the exact same questions that we just went through in the onboarding process. So if you want to add additional industries or change some of the job functions you're interested in, you can do that on this page as well. Next, we'll be exploring the steps that you need to take to complete your profile in Handshake. To navigate to the student profile, you will click on the account icon in the upper right hand corner of the page, and then you'll select My Profile. It is likely that your school has preloaded some information into your profile. As you work through completing your profile, if you would like to edit or add any more information, you can click on the pencil icon next to the section you want to update. For example, there's a pencil icon that appears when you hover over a section, such as this one here. To help make profile completion easier, we've added options on the left that students can use to help walk you through your profile. You'll see that the action items are highlighted in blue, and these are clickable when there's something that needs to be completed. You can also add a profile photo by clicking on Add or Edit Photo. Students are able to build your profile from an existing resume as well. You can take this step by uploading a new document. To do this, you would click on the account icon in the top right hand corner and then select My Documents. On this page, you can add a new document using this blue button. Here there is already a document uploaded. If you click to view your document, you will see the option to build profile from resume. If this is selected, navigate back to the profile and you will see there are a number of experiences and skills that have transferred over from the resume that need to be approved in order to be listed on the profile. Now that you have completed your profile, let's learn more about how to follow employers and apply to jobs. You can click on the Employers tab to browse and follow employers you are interested in. As you see here, you're able to use filters and keywords to specify your search and follow employers you are excited about. Next, check out the jobs page and start to apply for job opportunities. Similar to the employers tab, you're able to use filters to find jobs that are most pertinent to you. Now, get ready to apply. Follow the quick and easy prompts to apply to jobs that meet your interests.
Finally, you can log into Handshake and access your profile, employers, jobs, and more by downloading our mobile app using the QR code on screen. Now you're ready to get started on Handshake. Reach out to your Career Center if you have any questions and good luck on your career journey.